Well, she was speaking through me to the company because, you know, I'm, she won't talk to me. <laughs> she won't talk it to me. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies for a U.S. airline. I am Miami-based, but today I'm not in Miami. I am back in Denver because I picked up a four-day trip out of Denver. I commuted to Denver last night, got a commuter room at a hotel. By commuter room, basically what I mean is we have partnerships with uh, a travel company that gives us like steep discounts for a lot of things, including ground cars and hotel rooms. And then also many hotels near the airport will partner with airlines to say like, hey, if you need a room, you can get it for like, you know, 50 bucks for the night or whatever. And so I commuted in here, got a room so that I would be here for my one o'clock check-in. So I'm about to head to work and start this four day trip. Come along. All right, so made it to the airport, got checked in. I was super early, so I got food. Currently sitting here at the gate in the hideout, which is literally like right behind the ticket counter, those walls, like best place to hide out of passenger sight. Currently eating my little sandwich, CSC and my fries, and watching all of this action on the gate as we get ready to go. They are currently deep and cleaning, so no need to rush down there because you can't get on right now. on the ground in Little Rock. We were late because there was a wind shear delay. I said it would be nice to get one like that. There was a wind shear delay coming out of Denver. So the air traffic control stopped all departures and arrivals. And we were literally sitting on the tarmac. We could feel the plane like shifting. Time to get back. Another full flight. Alright, so back on the ground in Denver, we have a two, three hour sit. Um, well, it's not really three hours now, because it's like 7.40 and our flight leaves at 10 something. Have some extended ground time to just chill out in the airport. I am going to eat. This week's meal prep, we have Oreo thins, coffee creamers, apples, crackers, more crackers. Oh, down here I also have some emergency tuna packets. And there is oatmeal back there. Then on the big side, I made pasta this week. So that's a Tuscan pasta with all of these ingredients. I'll put them right here. Pineapple, cheese, yogurt, pepperonis. There's hummus down there. The typical snacks. So the goal is to eat, chill out, make some phone calls, and just sit in the airport, kill time until it's time for this last flight to Phoenix. And we'll arrive in Phoenix tonight. Going out with a bang. Hola, welcome to Phoenix, where it is smeltering hot outside. 83 degrees after 11 o'clock at night. Who knew, but forgot we were in the desert. Let's check out this view. Great, it's a wall. Oh, this is, oh, oh it's a bal balcony, but this wall is not. But this is Phoenix. So, easy flight after our sit. Nothing to complain about, except almost had to put passengers off the plane before we took off, that was a thing, but they managed to fly, so there's that. And now we are here, and it looks like this hotel and it's brand, it's done a lot of things to really ramp up their cleaning procedures or whatever. They have these placards all over and these seals on the door. Once the room has been vacated and cleaned and this little thing that's over the remote, trying to cover up the name of the brand, but they have these over the remote and it's been cleaned. I don't know what time it actually is. Hey Siri, what time zone is Arizona in? I don't understand. Hey Siri, what time zone is Arizona in? Really? Okay, so it is 11.54. Let me just go to my little world clock. On the East Coast, it is 2.54. So, I started in Denver where it is 12.54. So that's what time my body thinks it is. I guess I am on Los Angeles time. So I'm on the Pacific time zone. We have a smooth little like 16 hours on the ground here, 4 p.m. van tomorrow, so I got some time to, you know, relax and do some things and maybe see some of Phoenix has to offer. You know, we like to find us a good friend on a layover. Later.
Good morning. Well, no, afternoon. After a very hearty sleep and a nice FaceTime phone call with Kim, we are up and at him. Um, not going outside because it's 100 degrees here, so the next time I step foot out of this hotel will be when it's time to go on that van because what are we not doing? The heat. Today's a great day to FaceTime people because I'm just here and the time aligns up. I have to remember that it's like West Coast, so I'm like three Pacific time, so I'm three hours behind everybody at home on the East Coast, but besides that, we we good. We got stuff to do. We definitely have a lot going on right now in Charger Central, but yeah, work to do. I have 12 minutes until I need to be downstairs for the van, so this layover is almost over. I had Chipotle for lunch via Uber Eats. Shout out to them. I'll eat my little meal prep pasta later on. I think probably when we have our sit in Vegas. August Alcina dropped the new album. Shout out to him. So I've been checking that album out. Um, I like the lunch. There's a lot of songs on that album, like 20 plus. It's a lot. Um, this thing called Life is still my favorite album of his. But you know, this one, this one will grow on me. A little bit more. But I'm in good spirits, y'all. I'm in good spirits. We did not wear a do-rag to sleep last night, so my hair probably looks up. But I got a quick little knack for fixing that. Grease, brush, do-rag, blow dry. Wow, battle of the nose hairs. Like, I normally take care of that kind of stuff when I'm at home, but since I haven't really been home, it's been hard to take care of that stuff. But I don't really care too much for my goatee because I have a mask on, so you can't even see it. But the nose hairs, you can see. So yeah, we had to, you know, fix that little issue. But let's go to work. Hey Siri, what's the weather? So, we are on the ground in Salt Lake City. There's nothing like starting the day by being yelled at by somebody because they don't have an open seat beside them, which is totally out of my control. But let me show you what makes it even better. Landing in Salt Lake and being able to see, like being surrounded by the mountains. So dope. to work another one. Should be done by 6 a.m. Do you realize what this means? It is light outside. We have literally started at dusk and worked all the way to dawn. It was light outside when we started. It is light outside now. We've worked the red eye from Vegas to Orlando. We've gotten here. We had to sit and wait because the people who worked the red eye from Denver to Orlando landed like right after us, so we had to wait for them, and then we're all here at the, air, the hotel together. The sad part is, it's, I don't know, like six in the morning, and we leave out at seven o'clock tonight. Like, if you all been following me for a while, you know I hate layovers like this, where you get 12 hours, but your 12 hours are like in the middle of the day. So you land in the morning and you're flying again that night. So we work a flight tonight, and I just worked 11 hours, so. Good night. What's going on? Hey Siri. Hey, pause music. 
I don't even know what day of the trip that we're on because I woke up thinking it was go home day, pulled out my go home day commuting outfit. It's not go home day yet. Like I told you all, if you remember from um, this vlog, I talked about how much I hated having trips where you flew at overnight you laid over in the day and flew against those same nights like it throws you completely off in terms of like where you are what day it is and what you're actually doing so when i got in this morning i did not bother doing anything other than showering and getting into bed and i literally just woke up well a while ago because my friend came by to visit and then uh now i decided to get a piece of this pool before i need to go get ready for work and it is hot, hot out here. Hey Siri, 93 degrees in Orlando right now. So yeah, I might actually have to get a piece of this water and not just sit out here because it's hot, hot. Thank you. Oh yes, thank you. Hello. Made it onto the aircraft today. We are one and done. Our little short layover on the ground today is over. So we are working our way up to Long Island and we lay over there. And then two legs on go home day. Working on my other fave drink from Starbucks today, green tea lemonade, sweet. And my new hack since we we're kind of sort of not getting ice on the planes anymore since we're not doing service is to take ice from the hotel. So now I take big old bags of ice from the hotels to have on the plane with me so that I can keep all my drinks nice and cold. So the news came out that Florida had a huge well, we spike in. Can... Yes, we can. Florida had a huge spike in cases of uh, COVID. Um, and so I'm wondering how that's gonna impact traffic. So far, like yesterday, it didn't impact the loads and air traffic at all. So I'm wondering what's gonna happen today. Yes, that air is blasting. What's gonna happen today since I'm flying between Florida and New York, which are hot spots between today and tomorrow, if the loads are gonna be affected. But, so the airport looked pretty normal, so that was that. It's a Long Island. Uh, I stayed in this hotel, ooh, back in March, back in March. And it's so far from the airport, so, so, so far. But anyway, we just made plans to eat breakfast as a crew at 9.30. So I am going to do the usual, wipe this room down, take my shower, and go to bed because it's still the same day and I've worked twice now. So yeah, that's the thing. But you all, on the flight coming here, we had a April load, like minimal passengers. Like, I could count them on my fingers. Kind of scary. I hope we're not reverting because we were making so much great progress and all these new routes and things, but. I don't know if that's just a fluke. There was another flight here from Orlando today, so maybe they had more passengers, but yeah, weird to like be on a flight with that few people, um, especially since we've been having full loads. But yes, it is time to go to sleep. Good night. Oh look, I forgot they have microwaves here so I can heat up my food without having to leave the room. <laughs> but these refrigerators still don't have freezers, so that's a thing, but yes, nonetheless. Oh, it's really cold though. I'll take it. Good morning, it is go home day. And I am sleepy and tired. But it's gonna be a long day, so I'm gonna go downstairs and have breakfast with some of the crew. It 
is go home day, go home day with two legs. We did head to Orlando, so we don't have to work the flight, but we get paid like we do. And then we work Orlando to Denver, getting in with just enough time for me to hop on a red eye out of Denver. So, go home day. We could always have a glow stick party. I think I have a couple glow sticks in my bag. Highlighter party. Yes. Right. It is much harder to get down this aisle when I can't see what my bag is getting caught on. And planes this dark and quiet are eerie. They are. Not like haunted house eerie, but like, what if this happened in flight? Which is funny, because it was your idea to walk on the plane. Alright, and just like that, that four day trip is over. Okay. Back on the ground in Denver. That just tells me I need to go And I'm about to hop on a flight and commute to Miami. Alright, so flying from Florida, right back to Florida.